So here we are in Teams, and uh, the core functionality of Teams in the meetings is in this little bar right here. So if you want to turn your camera off, you can turn it on and off here. I turned mine off, as you can see, and then I just click here to turn it back on. I click this little microphone to mute myself or unmute myself. The thing that you'll want to understand how to use is how to share your screen if you have a presentation. So if I click this icon here, uh, Teams will bring out some options for me. I can share my whole desktop, I can share my window, or I can share a PowerPoint presentation. Mostly you're going to want to share a PowerPoint presentation, although sometimes I, uh, if I want to share a video or something like that, or a website, then I, I use the desktop. Okay, so I clicked on the PowerPoint that I wanted there and it called up this presentation. Now, uh, you can see here my, uh, in my laptop, which is uh, a reasonably old laptop, uh, a Mac computer, this is what it looks like. Those of you who have newer uh, technology might have more functions in some of these things than I have, but these are the core features. And to present, I just uh, keep uh, pressing the arrow here, and then when I'm finished, I just click Stop Presenting. So that's how you share your screen. Uh, these three little buttons here have various um, features. If I'm having problems with my device, if I don't, if I want to see which microphone and things it's using, I can look right here. If you have a headset, you can set it up here and so on and so forth. There are other features here. In some of you with uh, newer laptops will be able to blur your screen or change your background. Those features will be uh, listed here. I don't have them. Uh, if you want to record a session, this is where you record it. I, in the pandemic session, I will go ahead and manage the recording. You don't need to worry about that. This feature here is for the chat. So while presenters are presenting, other people can be typing in questions. What we'll likely get students to do is enter an icon, something like this, if they want to raise their hand, and we'll monitor that and let you know. Or other people can type questions right in there. So we will monitor that. And the last feature in a Teams call is the participant list. And the participant list shows who is in the call. And when they talk, their name will, will be highlighted. So uh, you can see who's speaking if you, if you want to leave the participant panel on. And if I click these three little dots here, when uh, someone is actually in a meeting, there'll be an option, there'll be a, a list of options, one of which is pin. If you pin the speaker right there, you'll be able to have their image always at the forefront of the presentation. So that's an option that you as a participant might want to take. Uh, those are the main features of a, a Teams meeting. So if you have any problems, you're welcome to contact me and I, I can also, we can have a, a, a meeting ahead of time. You can practice sharing your screen. Uh, and that type of thing. I'm also happy to manage the PowerPoint for you. If you would like to send it to me in advance, I can advance it and, and take care of it for you. So th those are some options for you. All right, signing off.